just speaking bold language, I'm speaking bold language. You might not understand me though if you ain't a bold say. What's up YouTube? This is Calvin Bond from Bond Trucking coming to y'all with another video. On this video right here, I went from Lynchburg to Fedville, North Carolina to pick up this Goodyear load. I deadheaded 206 miles. I ended up eating that. Sometimes you have to do that. This load right here without deadhead is 485 miles it paid eight hundred and seventeen dollars and eighty three cents my fuel is one hundred and forty six dollars and seventy three cents I just bought enough fuel to get me back to Ohio my escrow is seventy three dollars and fifty cents my cents per mile on this load is one dollar and eighty one dollar and sixty eight cents so my total ended up $597. I picked this load up last night and I just went to the nearest truck stop because I had already deadheaded to pick it up after I dropped my load off in Lynchburg. Today I drove about four hours. I can't drop this load off until tomorrow. I have about four and a half hours left on this load to drop this load off. So let's get started. All right, YouTube. This is the end of my day today. Getting ready to, I am at a Flying J. I'm getting ready to take me a shower and give me something to eat. I stopped early today because this was only an eight hour trip. And I can't get it there no earlier than tomorrow. And after I take a shower, I'm gonna stop at the Blue Beacon, get my truck washed. You know, I like riding clean. <laughs> but look how this trailer look. I don't know if y'all can see it on the camera, but I want y'all to see how bolted out it look. That's how you know when you ride down the street, if, if the trailer that you got got tires in it because for some reason it go it bolts out the whole trailer it pushes both sides all the way out but this truck spot here I like this I like this spot I haven't been here in a while the scenery look good This is one of the spots I like. Because I can do everything at this spot on my 10 hour break. If I need to get a tire fixed or anything, I just go to the Goodyear, take my shower, eat at the Flying J, and then get my truck washed and get ready to roll the next morning. TAs do that too, but I don't really like TAs just because I don't really, I don't, we don't get a good discount at TAs like we do at Flying J and Pilot. That's where we get the biggest discounts at. And I'm all about saving money. Saving money is making money. And I try to save as much as I can. I like that school bus. That's a Freightliner school bus too. But yeah, I try to make as much as I can. As a business owner, you gotta fight to make the money and fight to keep the money. And I try to fight to do both of them. I like to observe my shower on the app so when I walk in I can just walk straight through.
I'm not gonna hold y'all too long. See, I already got my shower. my shower right there so i already got it now i just gotta walk straight straight through no cashier no nothing it's a great app to have if you're using flying j and pilots just finally got fresh time to eat now give me something to eat go back to the truck look at tv put my feet up Get ready for tomorrow. Gotta do some paperwork though. YouTube. I'm trying to give me a quick little in and out on this situation here. Trying to get this in there. Get this in the hole. They said that they don't have any empty, so that's not a good thing. All right, time to drop off. I am at Goodyear in Columbus, Ohio. Actually, I got to put these back up because they don't have any empties here. I have to go somewhere else and get them. 
There we go. This load right here, it was kind of easy. It wasn't that bad. I wish I could have dropped it off yesterday though. That would have been good. But some of our loads, you can't drop. It's got certain appointment times, even on the dropping hooks. So regardless if it's a dropping hook or not, you still can't drop the load. Unless you in that appointment time. And that's what this one was. Now I gotta go to the next one and pick a trailer up. I'm trying to find me an empty trailer. He said he think that they don't have any here. But I need to find one. They gave me another address to their second location. But I'm trying to ride through here and hopefully that I find one that they don't have on the books or something. Sometimes that do happen. This is my first video of my new camera. Y'all let me know if the, the video quality look better. It looked better to me, but just let me know in the comments if y'all like it. And this is not empty trailer. It's always worth it to look though, before you go to another location trying to find a trailer. Y'all um, swing by and see the line. I'm excited, but I wanted to wait until it was something special to do a live. So I'm gonna do it on my first giveaway. Then I'm gonna try to find something else to give away. Make another giveaway. Uh oh. That's over full. Ooh. But I'm gonna try to do another giveaway after this one. I don't know, I might buy a Ram McNally GPS and put it on there. I've been thinking about it. But tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my videos. And I'm out.